Hey there, this is a Blender add-in I personally developed called Stylized Master Tools. If you're into stylized effects, then stick around, this is for you. First off, let's take a look at what Stylized Master Tools can create. You can make effects like this, this, and this. This add-in is perfect for users who want to quickly create stylized scenes. It's a huge time saver, especially for animation projects. And if you're a game developer, you can easily create effects here, bake them into textures, and apply them directly in your game engine. Now that you know what it can do, let's see how it works. Here, you'll find the author info, the effects menu, and a preview of different stylized effects you can choose from. There's also a tools panel that makes things super convenient to work with. And lastly, we have the settings for brush strokes, color tone, and shadow controls. Let's take a look at the sample scene that comes with the product. Right now, it hasn't been baked into textures yet, so I can click on the empty objects in the 3D view to drag the effects, scale, or rotate them. It's super convenient. Next, we'll start with a fresh scene and create a cube. Looking at the add-in interface, if there are no materials yet, you can either create a material ball or go directly to the tools panel and click, import group node, to add the necessary nodes to the model. You'll see a new node appear in the shader editor. Then, I'll choose an effect, click the, add, button, and the effect is immediately applied to the cube. In the node effects panel, you'll see the adjustment settings for the effect we just added. We can move the cursor to the position where we want the effect to be applied, then click this icon. Awesome! The effect is now correctly mapped onto the model. Next, in the tools panel, you'll find the second button, which shows activate and deactivate. When activated, the add-in will automatically detect whether you have selected the empty object generated by the add-in, allowing you to seamlessly toggle the snap function on and off, making your workflow even smoother. You can also tweak the parameters to further refine the effect, like adjusting the intensity or changing the color tone. These adjustments allow you to create a unique style effortlessly, just like in the demo scene I showed earlier, with plenty of personalized effects on display. If you want to create even more complex stylized effects, you can head into the shader nodes for deeper control. The effects generated by stylized master tools are neatly organized in the shader editor, so even if you adjust the layers directly in the add-in, the node structure stays clean. This allows you to fine-tune or add more advanced effects easily without things getting messy, giving you complete flexibility to create more sophisticated visual results. So now, just repeat this process a few more times, and you'll see a dramatic transformation in the appearance and style of the model. Looks pretty cool, right? That's it for today's introduction. I hope this video gave you a better understanding of how stylized master tools works. The add-in is available on Blender Market and Gumroad, so feel free to check it out. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, there's more Blender tutorials and tool showcases coming soon. See you next time.